Go to 3D and navigate inside the building to check the result. Here we can see that the stair beams now rest directly on the slab. This isn't good. Go back to one gallery floor plan now and activate the section tool. Create the section line along the axis of the stair. The section line should cross the entire building. Right click on the section line and choose the Open with Current View Settings command from the context menu. Zoom in on the connection of the stair and the gallery slab. Here we can see the second problem. The stair beam profile is too high, so let's fix both problems. We used the IPE240 profile for the stair beam structure, but we can modify it at any time. Activate the options, Complex Profiles, Import Standard Steel Profile menu command. In the upcoming dialog, choose the IPE180 profile and push the Add Profile to the Project button. Then click Import. Select the stair and press Control Command plus T to open its settings dialog. Go to the Beam Flight Hierarchy level. Open the Style and Dimensions page in the Beam Component settings and choose the IPE180 profile. Open the end plate at top page. Check the end plate at top checkbox. And set up the following parameters. Plate height 225. Plate width 120. Vertical position 45. Switch to the end plate at bottom page. And check the end plate at bottom checkbox. Set the plate height to 400 and the plate width to 120 millimeters. Click OK and deselect the stair. Now, if you open the 3D window, you'll see that all the connections of the stair have been created perfectly. This small example demonstrates how flexible and convenient the ARCHICAD stair tool is in that it allows you to design any type of stairs on any level of details. If you would like to get more information about the ARCHICAD Stair Tool and its settings dialog, please watch the Stair Tool playlist on the ARCHICAD YouTube channel.